Let's talk zombies, specifically 28 Days Later zombies. Director Danny Boyle has always contended that they're not zombies. The masses have largely disagreed. 28 Days Later is even credited with reviving the zombie subgenre. So let's take a look at the evidence and you can decide. One, Danny Boyle says they aren't zombies and it is his movie after all. Two, the godfather of zombies, George Romero says, rule one of zombies, they don't run. Three, zombies are dead. And in 28 Days Later, they're merely infected, but very much alive. But infected with what? Right. But that's another question. Are zombies dead? In Night of the Living Dead, the dead were originally called ghouls. Because until that point, zombies were generally associated with voodoo and Afro-Caribbean culture. While some zombies like Madeline and White Zombie were created from the dead, in the early days of cinema, it wasn't a given. Romero's hit ultimately became the blueprint for modern zombies. They run like any zombie cinema had ever seen before. If the director says they're not zombies, the man who created the modern zombie says they aren't zombies, why do audiences disagree? Well, what do we know about zombies? One, they're singularly focused on eating. This isn't a theme throughout zombies from the early 20th century, but Romero introduced the idea in Night of the Living Dead and it's stuck ever since. Zombies aren't just focused on eating, they're focused specifically on eating humans. And their bites are contagious. In 1966, George Romero unwittingly released a new and terrifying monster on moviegoers. He created something that hadn't been seen before, but would go on to be recreated for decades to come. In 2002, Danny Boyle managed the same thing. He created a new kind of monster that's still replicated today. From World War Z and Train to Busan to Black Summer and The Walking Dead, variations on Boyle's infected feature prominently in horror cinema today. So comment what you think. Are the 28 Days Later infected actually zombies or no?